hand mowing competition. Uh, this is uh, what we hope will become a tradition and uh, it will attract ever larger crowds as we go forward. My grandfather has been scything for a long time and he uh, taught my mom how to scythe and she's been teaching me most recently. Let's give him a nice round of applause. I guess it's what you'd call a revival of the skills of 100 to 200 years ago, where virtually all the hay that was harvested to feed cattle and sheep and other animals was harvested by hand using the scythe, because the mowing machine, certainly as we know it today, really didn't get invented and perfected so that it was work and actually cut hay until after the time of the Civil War. So the hand mowing skills were absolutely important to the success and viability of agriculture. It's one that one of my neighbors has. It's uh, what they used to use here in the United States. Uh, this is a lighter one, lighter snap, so it's made for hay. The new modern ones, you have heavier snap and a heavier blade. And so far, everything I've seen is they are the imported ones. We, we just moved to Woodville to a, uh, to a uh, farm uh, and it has an overgrown meadow that's full of weeds and I don't want to commit to a tractor and all that machinery and so forth so I, I guess I sort of innocently thought that I could just take a scythe and, and go ahead and, and do it. It was quite difficult and it's an excellent, awesome exercise. It was crazy exercise and you can just do it for 20 minutes and be so exhausted. So absolutely, completely exhausted. It's just so cool. You were uh, a male, and by the age of 10 or 12, if you didn't know how to run a hand scythe, you were probably destined for the poorhouse. <laughs>